All right, guys, back at the Mecca, Big E. We got some star power on the show today. We do. If you look over my head, <laughs> Ta -ta. you can see a picture of somebody named Silvio Samuel, El one of the best bodybuilders to ever grace an IFBB stage. And surprisingly enough, he's standing next to me. That's, That's right. awesome. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's been a while, Sil. We're glad to have you on the show, man. Thank you. Man, I can't wait. Uh, let's get this going. Yeah, so That's right. we are so lucky to have Silvio. Silvio is one of my favorite guys here at Golds. Uh, I, I, you know, we have tremendous support for him, tremendous love for him. He's one of the most passionate guys here, and he's looking to do some serious damage in 2020. He's coming back with a vengeance, so you better watch out for him. What are we training, Merlin? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, what we're going to do today is, past couple of weeks we did some of my favorite uh, exercises using an incline bench, and now we're going to do a couple of uh, Be Built by Broses doing a couple of my favorite movements on Smith machines. Nice. I love the Smith machines uh, for doing various types of presses and rows, and I'm going to have Silvio demonstrate a few of them today while I describe it, and I hope that it helps you guys in your training and adds to your workouts. Awesome. Okay, so this first movement is a very high incline press. The bench is set at about 60 to 65 degrees. Now, the key to this movement, when working the chest, and we're trying to work the chest fibers right under the clavicles, is making sure that you raise the rib cage up and bring the chest up high. Because if you don't do that, you'll end up pressing with the front deltoids more than you will the chest. So you want to do a controlled movement on the way down of about three seconds. You're going to hold the bottom position for about a second, and then we're going to press up under control just by using the upper chest. This is a great movement when trying to build the shelf of the upper chest, and very, very good aside from the regular incline pressers, which is more generally at about a 40 degree angle. So give these a shot if you need more upper chest development. Okay, so this exercise again is for the upper chest. We're looking to build those fibers again right under the clavicles. And what we're doing is what you'd call a guillotine press. So basically what you're doing is doing a bench press, but you're sliding your body forward so that when the weight comes down, it's coming down right to clavicle level. Now just be careful, don't go too low on this movement because you can impinge the shoulder joint. So just come down so you're comfortable and feel a stretch in the chest. Always use a lot of control on the way down. Don't punch right out of the bottom. Make sure you stop at the bottom for a moment. Think about the upper chest, think about activating it, and then push to the top with as much control as possible using the chest. Again, another great movement, building the upper chest and getting that extra development right under the clavicles. Okay, so this movement is the Merlin close grip style bench press. It is different than the regular close grip bench press as you can see right away. When Silvio takes the grip, he actually has turned his palms inward so that the bar is resting along his palms and he's forcing his elbows outward as opposed to the regular close grip bench press where the elbows are staying close to the body. What this does is it actually isolates the triceps better and keeps the chest out of the movement more. Plus also it hits the long head of the tricep which is the biggest head of the tricep and has the most mass in it. Do not try to go too heavy in this movement. It's a finesse movement. Bring the bar down very, very carefully. Make sure that your wrist's in a position where you feel comfortable and you will hit the triceps like you never have before. One of the things that I love to do with bent rows is of course using a free bar is great, but I love doing them on the Smith as well because I love the control about where you can bring the bar and really put the focus on the back. So this is an underhand grip version. As you can see, he's leaning over the bar, uh, not completely parallel to the floor, but maybe at about a 75 degree angle and he's keeping the elbows in close to the body as he rows up and he's pulling the bar into the midsection, which is what we're basically looking to do is activate the lats primarily, especially the lower portion of the lats where they insert into the waist. He's using very, very strict form. He's getting a squeeze at the top. There's no body swing at all. This is a really, really great movement if you're looking to thicken the lats, especially the fibers close to the waistline. Give this one a shot if you're looking for a bigger, wider back. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is for the traps, the upper back, and the rear delts. This is a Smith hybrid upright row shrug. Different than a regular shrug, which just primarily works the bottom of the traps. This movement, the way I'm doing this with a half shrug, half upright row, will actually get into the rear delts, the mid traps, and the lower upper portion of the traps. As you can see, he's leaning his body forward, and that is so he can clear his butt with the bar and he's doing a half upright row at the bottom to begin moving the weight, and at the top, shrugging so he can get that full contraction. This is a great movement for building upper back mass, rear delts, and everything across that whole upper back to give you the thickness. Merlin. Yes, sir. Back in Marina <laughs> Del Rey. 
We like it here. I love it here. <laughs> it's so chill, man. Your dog's over here sitting on the couch. He's got the best view of all. <laughs> Boo -boo. Yeah, she's our audience today. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on with um, with uh, everything? You you have some big news actually to uh, to talk about today. Yeah, I got some great stuff, and you know I'm here um, on behalf of InsureFitness.com. Yep. Uh, which uh, we've done some videos for before. They really like you over there. <laughs> they seem to like me. And I like them, actually, yeah. So it's a good mutual relationship. So to that end, actually, I should say that um, in the beginning, um, I started off with Insure Fitness because they um, asked me to do an interview um, as a professional coach in the industry, and they wanted to get my insights and learn more about me. So that's how I started with them. And then from there, they asked me to become sort of like an affiliate or a partner with the company uh, to help sell their insurance. And of course, I wanted to learn more about their insurance first. Uh, so um, did some research. They gave me some things, which I'm actually going to talk about here again. Uh, but first, uh, that's how everything started with us. So I started partnering with them and um, everything's been great. And then slowly but surely, I started writing some articles for them as well to add to their content, doing some videos. Um, did some videos actually, which should be up this week about um, on their site. So you we got article on their site. And yeah, a new offer. article and a new. Um, there'll be two, uh, which will be sort of like a video and an article attached. One of them oh. has to do with um, how to market yourself um, at expos, uh, how oh, to nice. uh, help to increase your your business at expos. And I talked about the Olympia, nice. uh, and I gave some insights on that. And then also I, I did another video uh, and article about. Um, how to help your clients stay fit while they're away uh, on vacation. Well, that's a good one. Uh, you know, and you know how to deal with hotels and eating um, to keep them on point because that's difficult sometimes. A yeah. lot of people travel, so they get off course. And as a trainer, as a coach, you know, you stress about that. <laughs> yeah. So you want to keep them on course. So I did those, uh, and then we actually had a bigger discussion. They wanted me to be me to become a, a bigger part of the company. Uh, yeah, they wanted to move over there. They wanted me to move to, <laughs> to Florida and, and basically take over the the be the brand manager for uh, you know basically the fitness section of the business because they have a lot of insurances that they deal with. Uh, so they wanted me to do that. Of course, that's something that I cannot do. I am based here in California, yeah. and, I, and I always will be. Uh, of course, we shoot Be Built by Broser live from Gold's Venice, yeah. and I wouldn't miss that for the world. Uh, but um, we came to an agreement and um, I'm going to be working with them more closely and the brand manager that they did just hire. Uh, I'm going to kind of be like the, the, the one that points everything in the right direction, the one that brings the insights from the fitness industry. The consultant uh, kind of. Yeah. Consultant yeah. on, on you know, content, on the other writers that they bring aboard. Nice. I'll be with them. Um, I will help to edit content. I will help to actually post uh, things to their IG page, to Facebook and, and uh, Twitter, um, nice. just making sure that, that the brand stays on point, bringing my insights from my experience in the industry and what I'm exposed to all the time yeah. uh, to make sure everything is relevant, interesting, informative for the people who are on the site. So I'm very, very excited hey, about that. That congrats. all starts November 1st. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I have partnered with them on a larger level. Like that's, I said, very that's awesome. excited. Congrats, man. Uh, thank you. And another thing that I also want to mention, another very big thing, is that I was asked to do a webinar. Um, partnered, Insure Fitness is in part is part in partnership with um, called uh, a magazine uh, company called PFP uh, Personal Fitness Professionals, uh, and they're also a wonderful company for our industry because they put out so much interesting. Um, information uh, and research and uh, just all kinds of tools again for, for trainers so it's a natural partnership so I'll be doing a webinar a free webinar actually uh, on Wednesday October 23rd so that's okay. next week we'll put it down. Uh, which yeah so you, uh, we'll give you the link to register for it uh, and also you can also visit um, you know my Facebook page or my IG page and you'll see that there's um, there's links to register for it. And like I said, it's free. And basically what it's about is um, they want me to discuss my 30 years in the industry and how I evolved my career from literally just being a guy working in a gym. Training and, people at home. And training people at home, starting that business uh, to, you know, evolving to being a writer 
for so many magazines, um, opening up my own gym, then later moving to California, how I how I transformed my one-on-one -on -one business onto an online training platform, um, all the different things that I've done to evolve my career over the time to um, keep myself current, to keep myself ahead of the competition, uh, and to make available a bunch of different in income streams so that you have money coming in from a lot of different areas which helps people especially in our business who can have clients that go up and down yeah. so that could be stressful uh, so when you have different income streams coming in you know that your your overall income can stay at a, at a level where you're comfortable uh, and of course they also want to discuss how I built my you know IG account from the ground up from zero to over 130,000 followers and all of these types of things um, to help um, audience members build their own business, how to know if they're starting out, um, how to evolve their business from the beginning, or if they've been in the industry for many, many, many years, um, how to take it a step further and set themselves apart from others. So nice. I hope that you'll join us for that webinar, which is interactive. I'll be doing a presentation and then taking questions. Oh, nice. So that's great. That sounds great. Yeah. Now, into the nuts and bolts, I want to talk again about the insurance because, again, as I've discussed many times, it is so important for people in our industry to make sure that you have personal liability insurance because you must protect yourself and you must make sure that the insurance covers everything that you do uh, in every way so that you're never surprised later on and you can watch previous videos on this uh, where um, not all coverage out there is completely uh, comprehensive and covering every aspect. So. Yeah. Here are the things that I want to go over again really quickly with you guys about insurefitness.com and the policy that they have. It's a $1 million per occurrence uh, coverage with a $3 million per year for general and prof uh, professional liability. Uh, it's product liability for $1 million a year, $100,000 in rental damage coverage, uh, $1,000 in stolen or damaged equipment coverage. Uh, you always get a free subscription to who I spoke about before, Professional Fitness Professionals, excuse me, Personal Fitness Professionals Magazine. You can also get, when you sign up with them, a free professional website that they can customize for you. That's cool. So they'll take care of that. That's really, really great. Um, you'll always get um, free ebooks and uh, other business resources, uh, discounts from companies like Spree, Fit Tour, Web Exercises, and more. Um, there's over a hundred types of fitness training and instructions covered and there's instant coverage that's mobile so it will cover you wherever you train. Normally this coverage costs you just $169 a year uh, but we will put up a link for you to my personal site on the page where you can get the coverage for $10 off so why not save 10 bucks so it'll only be $159 for you. You'll find that code um, of course with all the other in the description box. In the description yeah. box. And Again, these are the things that you need to watch out for. It's a very comprehensive coverage, and um, I urge you guys, if you're not covered, to make sure you get covered by this. At least go business. look. You know, yeah, at least go look go and see site. all the resources That's because right. you'll find you'll you'll end up probably there for a while because yeah. you not only look at the insurance but you'll look at the tremendous amount of resources right. that they have like these free webinars and free And just for that and, alone might be worth it. Yeah, and they're constantly updating with articles and, and just all kinds of tools. It's just, it's just such a tremendous company. And that's, again, why I partnered with them in the first place and why I was willing to take a, a huge chunk of side and you know, po time of mine and put it aside to devote to this business as well because I think that it's just a wonderful tool. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's less than 15 bucks a month if you do the math. Yeah, right? I mean, so, the, the, really. for what you get... You know for what you're paying for yeah uh, I mean to me it's a no-brainer um, you know and again if you're in this business uh, to make a living yeah. and you're making a living it's nothing it's really yeah. it's hardly anything yeah. you know extra money uh, it's worth it uh, and it, you'll you'll be comfortable because you know you'll know that you're covered and just by every single circumstance yeah peace of mind you'll yeah. have peace of mind and you will uh, you know like I said you'll just you have to protect this is your life you know you may be paying for just yourself you may be paying for a family it's your livelihood it's what you've built up on your own and why not do what everything you can to protect that especially when it's only for 159 dollars a year so 
go to the links, check them out, check out the website, www.insurefitness.com, see all they have to offer, and uh, we will have a lot more coming to you in the future as we are constantly putting out more information. And again, if you can't join us on that webinar, it's free, so it will be wonderful to not hear this helicopter. I know, I know. <laughs> Live TV. And join the webinar, and uh, hopefully you guys will get a lot out of it, and I really appreciate your guys' time, and I thank Insure Fitness for bringing me aboard. I got a question for you. Oh, sure. Did you actually use your own link when you signed up for your insurance? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have to use the link. Okay. Luckily, that I part of my deal was getting my insurance. <laughs> I was just wondering. But I can tell you this now. If that wasn't included, I would have done it anyway because yeah. I've always carried insurance. It was time for me to get new insurance. So when I found this company, it was kind of like karma. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Good yeah, karma. Yeah. yeah, awesome. All right. All Thanks, right. Biggie. Thank you.